we're going to identify succulents. We had to stop for a squirrel, guys. With some music. I'm not your toy, no. Let's go on and see what they got. Oh my goodness, everybody, Home Depot has even more succulents available for purchase. This is so freaking amazing, and they have them in bulk and a variety. And I love the way that this one looks right here. This one's one of my favorites because it's so different. It's, um, a Della Spermalemani succulent, and it's a type of variety. It's not the one I have, I don't think. Um, but it's very cute. It's very, very amazing looking. And, um, let me see. I have this one already. This one propagates very, very quickly. I have this elephant bush jade as well. But the, the ones that I honestly love the most are here. Here you see there's some rosette ones. Those are the ones that are the prettiest, I think. Uh, let's see. Behind me is this milkweed. Ah, I've never been so close to a bee before. And, um, you know, these bees are pretty friendly compared to the bees that are around my house. Exclusively sold a new variety drought tolerant plant. Russian sage. Oh, it's sage, guys. I had no clue. And uh, this is a Lantana Lucky Red. You know, I've been kind of getting interested in trying to look at more type of varieties of plants and succulents. And I do love the color of these. They are just super, super adorable for summer. You know what I mean? Just like to have them outside your door or whatever. When it just makes you super, super happy. And they have some more succulents over there. I believe that's the Ogre, ogre Ear ear succulent and then there's some aloes I've had that one before I'm not sure what the name of it is but it does grow pretty wacky like that let's go see the name of it Doo -doo -doo. oh my god look at it it's so huge it's so amazing though Doo -doo 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 -doo. it's a it's a jade plant uh, golem that's another name for it here is some type of aloe Nobilis. And um, this one, oh my goodness, it has so much length. But it's called an aloe blue elf. Look at that. And this wacky one here, you know, it does have some type of red shading on the end of the leaf. This one, this one's really pretty. I think it is some type of succulent, to be honest. I don't know. Very, very water resistant. Oh, and there is some type of succulent arrangement right in there. We should probably take it out and help it out. Look at that black grayish kalanchoe it is so adorable i love the way it feels and the just you know the rosette shape is just an addition to the majesty of this type of succulent so beautiful it reminds me like of like of a military military type of camo looking thing <gasps> oh my goodness look at what they have there they have some beautiful beautiful sunflowers they are just so beautiful and of course some more shade uh, sage here the bees are just loving these sh uh, sage plants absolutely adorable this little shrub here creates some type of little rosettes on the ends it is super cute look at that come on focus and it's called a sweet pea shrub petite butterfly Super, super cute guys. Those are kind of cute. And they're annual, so they only live for one year. I think I got the name Angie or something. Excuse me. And here are some more golden barrows. We've talked about golden barrows before, or I've definitely showed them on my videos, but that's what it looks like. It's a little small cactus 
and it does uh, require a lot of sun. Really, really cute. Uh, oh my goodness, look at all the red shading. It's received so much sun that it's creating all these red shades on the ends. And some of it looks like it's not doing very well. It, it, it looks like, honestly, it was overwatered. But um, they're not really that healthy here most of the time. Oh, yeah. I also had one of these. And I didn't put it in a container with drainage. And um, it created a lot of mold. And so I decided to just throw it out and start a new one. But I haven't, I haven't gotten one yet. And I don't know what the name of it is, either. I think it's some type of Kalanchoe. It has that type of texture. And... Ooh! E. Poor thing, look at it. I don't know what happened. Anyways, this one looks in a lot better shape. This is dropped, but it's okay. Oh, poor thing. These are my favorite, absolutely favorite. Those are California sunsets, and this is type. This is a type of Graptocetum or Graptobatellum. But again, these are not labeled because they're arrangements. And I definitely want to find out what this one is. I don't really know what it is, but it's super cute, guys. So adorable. I haven't really seen it. It's not very common. I don't. It's not very common here, or like one of the common ones that they that they purchase all the time or they receive. Um, but absolutely, those are my absolute favorites, the ones with the rosettes. And because these with calanchoes and with the, um, like the bushes, those are a little bit, you know, not that floral. I'm looking for bright, flowery colors, just like this. This one's also very cute. This is some type of sedum. It's like golden fire sedum or something like that. And, um, this is really cute for, you know filler and stuff like that this is some type of jelly bean i don't know um oh my god i don't know if that's the same one it looks like it maybe but that's some type of calanchoe that's really really dark in there oh <gasps> i don't know what happened there over watering maybe look at this oh my goodness guys It is so freaking cute. I really don't like this one too though. This one looks like it, the leaves aren't as um as thick. So that means that it probably has a lot more thicker roots to sustain the water. And of course the fire sticks. We always love these fire sticks. As you can see, there's some green fire sticks. And there's some orange and yellow ones. Obviously, these have been receiving a lot more sun, which is why they have that bright color. Uh, it looks like those types of plants that actually grow in the wild here in Texas. And I have a few of these. Um, this It might not be the same one, because it has a weird thing at the end. Oh, okay, that's where the buds are. More colorful, they have been receiving more sun. So they're a lot more purple in shade, darker in shade. And of course, these blue bonnets. I did, are these blue bonnets? Something else, but anyways, they're cute. I know this is not succulent related, but I just absolutely love the ones that are dark in color, just like that. Or like these black ones, it really does a lot of uh, contrast whenever you're trying to put a, an arrangement together. As you can see, there's a ceiling. So all of these succulents are kept under um, special care but you know recently they have been ordering a lot a lot more I have been seeing more and more succulents whenever I come here and I'm honestly pretty happy because they have increased their selection and oh my goodness I just got intrigued by this tiny little succulent it's a cacti succulent and doesn't have a name but it looks really it looks really weird Damn it, I wish I had a name. No, oh, it's a living stone. It's a type of living stone. Uh, these are not doing very well because they're kept in low lighting. I forget what that one is, but these don't even have names. Damn it. They're really cute though. This succulent is super, super delicate. I had it 
I never found out what the name of it was. But, um, these are grown in Costa Farms, Miami, Florida. Okay, so what I love about these is that they're $3.48 and they have identifying names on them. So it's probably the best. Oh my goodness sake. No way. That is a true pineapple plant, guys. That is so nuts. Let's touch it. Oh my goodness. That's going to be ripe and ready in about 10 years. 10 to 15 years. But it looks absolutely amazing. Oh my god. And it's not the only one. There's a few over here. They're $15 ones. Oh, this one's so cute and tiny. Those are all of the angel plants that they have here. And they're super, super cute. I've tried to, you know, grow a couple of them or a few of them. Uh, they're kind of difficult to grow, at least in my opinion. I tend to kill them. Ooh, what is this? You see, but they have like the most craziest things. Like, oh my God, you know? You never ever see this anywhere. I've never seen this one before. It looks like purple lettuce, but it would definitely look really pretty in an arrangement. Or they have this one. Look, it's like metallic. It's so crazy. Oh, let me tell you. Yes, they are going to be closing in 15 minutes. So I'm going to be picking just a little bit of uh, succulents here and then just showing you the name. Of course, the ones that I haven't really shown you before. But let's... I love the Home Depot. I love the Home Depot. Ah, my freaking wrist. That is called a Blue Giant. Have I showed you this one before? Blue Giant sounds somewhat familiar, but I don't remember showing you that one. Anyways, I'll, I'm going to show you a lot of rosette-shaped ones. So here's one. This is super cute. I would definitely buy this. And it is called a Sidivaria Hybrid Assistance. Super, super cute. Have I showed you this one? A moon glow. That sounds so familiar. Maybe, maybe I have. Maybe I have showed you it. And so here is an Echeveria Assistant, Echeveria species. I love the deep, deep color in this. I'm going to show you this one. Look at this. It is so freaking cute. Oh no, this one doesn't look very healthy inside. It looks like it has some type of, some type of bug, but it's an Echeveria Lola. <gasps> oh, no, 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 sorry. Ugh. It is nuts. I don't really want to pick it up because there's a lot of spines on there. And they hurt me. Last time I got poked by one of them. Oh my god, it's so big. There is one that I saw in Laura Eubanks' channel today. And it was an absolutely gorgeous succulent. It was humongous, guys. It was freaking huge. And it has such a bright red color to it. It was just amazing. I wish I had it. Um, I forget the name of it from the top of my head. But it was definitely a gorgeous one. This one needs a little bit of water. But it's definitely gorgeous. And it is called an Echeveria Peacocky. I have showed you that one before. That one I do remember. This one, I have never seen it before. It's a... It almost looks like a carnivorous plant, to be honest. But with no, you know, no little, no little teeth. Definitely cute. And this one doesn't look like it's doing very good. Very cute. And look at this one. This one is a sedum. I would definitely like to own this again one day. I had a lot of these and my cats absolutely love to just chew on the leaves. And so it didn't do so well in the garden. But it's a lime gold, sedum lime gold. I definitely have showed you this one before. My hands are so dirty from holding all of those pots, guys. I'm not even going to put hand sanitizer on because my hands are... Kind of soily, to be honest. Ooh, let's hurry the fuck up. Actually, no. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna reverse, so we're not in anyone's anyone's way. Tomorrow, I start two new classes for my school, and they are calculus and Gen Chem, Gen Chem two, General Chemistry, General Chemistry two.
I remember when you were a Chuck E. Cheese and now you're at dental school. Ah! In the club, high and put with some shades on. Had it up, mini skirt with my J's on. So get like me. That is my house. I got no respect. Freaking like a model. Just gotta check. If you are lame, that's a shame. You can't hang with us. My stomach hurts. I need aspirin, guys. Fuck my life. to call the bank and tell them to stop selling me shit. That's goddamn it. That shit, that shit annoying bitch. I don't know why I fucking signed up for it at the beginning. I don't know why the fuck I did, but I fucking did it.